This laptop is uh, Sony Vario and the model number is DTCEB. If you have uh, such a laptop and the screen is broken, shattered, whichever you call, it is really easy to change with a new one, which is right here. I bought it from uh, laptopscreen.com and it cost me $75 including shipping and everything so all you need is this uh, and uh, simply two screwdrivers one is Phillips the other one just regular head These, so you're going to need also a towel uh, when you put your new screen on so when you get your screen you have to make sure that the, ball, the two screens your old screen and new screen the size is same the second thing that you need to pay attention is the resolution so the resolution should match the third thing is really important it's the what kind of uh, bulb uh, your screen uses there are two different kinds one is uh, just regular bulb which you're supposed to see a plug right here or uh, just like mine without bulb it's called LED light so mine has LED light, so that's why you don't see any plug around it. So if you had just like a regular bulb, so you were going to have a plug right there to plug that one. So mine have only one plug right there. Uh, it, it is 40 pin plugs. So that's how I know that it's LED uh, light in it, not a light bulb. And now we're going to turn the, the laptop off. Okay, now we can start. There are uh, four plastic rubbers at the corners, as you see. Now we're going to take them out with a regular head uh, screwdriver without hurting it, just gently. After we take the, the rubbers out, you're going to see all four screws. So most of the, the Vario laptops are the same way. So let's just gently take the screws out. Uh, now the next step is to take the frame out. All you need to do is just, you know, like gently pry it out. You can use credit card or something. This is the actually the the most important part on this one, uh, taking the frame out. So it took me like two minutes, I think. The next step is uh, there are two more screws that uh, you're gonna take it out in order to uh, pull the screen this way to unplug it. So we're gonna take those screws and. Uh, those two screws are one is right here and the other one is right here okay now those screws are off now all we need is since it's an old screen so you don't have to put the towel yet as you see there's only one uh, plug right here. It is 40 pin plug. Uh, so this shows that m my LCD is actually LED light in the background as a backlight, not a bulb. So just gently uh, hold from the screen too and pull it. Okay, now the plug is off almost actually. So the next step is, you can either do the screwing part first, you need to unscrew uh, these four screws on this side and four on the other side in order to take the, uh, the screen off. Okay now, there is no more screws to take it out, so the rails are off and it's unplugged already. Now we're going to lift the uh, rails 
and kind of bring the new. And there is nothing really you need to do. That plastic part is going to stay over there. That protects the, the circuit over there. And let's just put the rail. Okay, after you plug it in, okay, the line, now we can screw them. Let's start from the right side. Let's screw the other side. Now, our plug is 40 pin plug is plugged. The rails are uh, screwed. Now, the next step is just uh, putting the LCD where it needs to go. So after you uh, screw the rails to the uh, back of the laptop, now the next step is putting the frame back. Look how easy. By the way, we can just, you know, do little uh, dressing ups. It's fine. So we don't want a sloppy job. You can tilt the screen a little bit. There you go. All you need to do is just snap it gently. You should just go. As I said, just be gentle. As long as you hear the snapping sound, you're good. That's good. Just don't make an ex excessive pressure. Okay, now the next step is putting the four screws back to the corners before you put the plastic rubbers. And if, uh, if you get your uh, screen from uh, laptopscreen.com and if your laptop is something that laptopscreen.com doesn't have any video about it, they might send you an email saying that you can make them a, a video that they can put it on their website. So you might get a little bit, you know, like uh, credit for that one from them. So that would be nice. Hopefully you're going to see my video and let's put the rubble back. And you see it wasn't too hard, isn't it? So it goes back. Just in case I make it a little bit more. Okay. All right. It's, it looks like it's ready. Let's press on the button. Let's see what happens. Here you go.